Okay, we've got the antenna connected, fuses in line, should be able to plug in here, and we should have life. Uh, we'll have to work on that. Help me, FT8 man. What's that? You're my only hope. Someone, someone's radio is in trouble. I've got to go. Someone needs my help. I heard the call. Radio, yeah? Okay, so you got this to-go box. Bio NO battery. We're gonna make this all work right. Try to. Oh my goodness! And you got the big boy too. Yeah, this one's for my tuner. Oh wow. Okay. It just sits on top. Seems a little too easy. Where is that? Okay, so if it's this is one. No, FT891. Oh, we're, still, we're doing rig control here? You can yeah. do that? Yeah, well, that's the whole point, man. Oh, well, I know, but you don't need another another cable to go from this to here? Yeah, the USB cable that's supposed to be for the radio. There's a, he, he only gave me one. Yeah, but, you, the but there is a cable that came with the radio. It's for that. It's for rig control. I don't remember that. The box is packed away in my stuff. It's, like, you need another like one of these. I know. First, you need another one of those. Does he have one? Data bits is data bits. Data bits is eight. Stop bits is one. Put the ball rate right back to forty-eight. Okay. Forty-eight hundred. Tested or okay? Yep, te always test. In the hopes to get some kind of useful information out of this, uh, this is my general settings for the Yaesu FT891, assuming you have the USB cables connected. I do have the radio set to 9600 baud rate, and these are the settings. So if you want to pause this, uh, this would be a good time to do so, and you can copy it as needed. If you need anything else, just post in the comments and I'll help you out. All right. Because I tried that earlier and it... Where did you have it on before? Well, I had it on 96. And it's always, no. Oh, on 48. But it worked. So. Your cat set up. Now, audio, you need to make that your USB audio codec. Codec. And your output also has to be the audio codec. USB audio codec. Oh, there it is. Okay, now hit OK. Hit OK. Now go back to the waterfall. Okay, yeah, see so now. I'm... See now, you see how you see this here? Yeah, the bar. Okay, yep. so I'm controlling that with this. So I should be able to yeah, bump this up. Okay, so now your problem is all your data is compressed right here. We need to spread this out over the entire yes. band. Yes, how do So you how you do, do that? that is you go here, width, 500 hertz, uh -huh. new, oh, boom. Look at that, whoa. And now the waterfall will fill out. Yeah. At least that's the plan. We oh, shall yeah, see. So here's one give right second, here. Yeah, give it a second to catch up. Yeah, because it's going, it's lapsing. No again. wonder I was decoding, wasn't decoding squat. Because you're too narrow. Yeah, so you got plenty of signals in there. S8, S9, you should be able to just kill it dead now. Yeah, so now. Oh, yeah, see, look. All the. Yep, so <laughs> they're still kind of low to you, the 16s, but oh, go back to the waterfall. So what I do um, is... I mean, I'm on the external antenna on the roof. I don't exactly have the best antenna situation at home. I just go right click here, and that's where I transmit from usually. Okay. About 1500 hertz. So I leave it there. So now, is this antenna resonant? Bye-bye. It should okay, be. Bye. Okay, go ahead and go to uh, hit tune. Where? Right there. Oh. So your power output like nil, so untune that for a second. So what we want to do now oh, is you want to... I didn't even know you could do that. Right. So now we want to change the meter. SWR. No, ALC. So we're going to check the uh, the sound. So now when you hit tune again, there's nothing. Now watch. Yeah, that'll turn it up. There you go. So we want it right in the middle of the ALC. There you go. Okay, now you can untune. Yeah. See? Okay. See? So yeah. now we'll go so back in. this out. Hold on. Let's go to power. Now we're checking the power output. Now hit tune again. There you go. So now you're, you're transmitting a tone. You can kind of kill the tune. And your ALC is set with the signal link controlling it. Right. So now you should be able to transmit a CQ call and you get picked up. Wow. 
It's that easy. easy. And then you hit enable TX. Yeah, which is... That button is... Okay. <laughs> you got the key. I got the key short. That way. All right, we're transmitting. In height. So now, um, you made a call. I'm only putting out 10 watts. On yeah. My battery, so. So, I yeah, but it's a 12 amp hour battery. How long does that typically last? It I don't know. It lasts you a couple hours. Really? Yeah. It is full duty cycle when you're transmitting for 15 second intervals, but on 12 amp hours, I used a six amp hour battery to do um, Windlink yeah, when I was in, in Austin, Austin and I ran for hours Jeez. just trying to make it work. Oh, there there you go. KF4, OQA. Well, this is going to be like the fastest uh, setup time I've ever done. <laughs> you, you had it most of the way there. You were, you were right on it. I didn't know you could do that tuning thing. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, so why you need to do that is um, if, so for this radio, since it doesn't have a tuner, right? but if you're, you're using something like that Wolf River coil antenna, you hit that tune button, have this thing set to SWR, check your SWR reading, turn the tune off, go adjust, done. That's it. That's the way I do it. Go adjust the coil, come back, check the tune, and just go back and forth until you get it right in That's tune, and then you're good. Nice. Yeah. yeah, so you can do that with AM too. Anything with a carrier tone, you oh, just yeah. hold down the mic. Okay. FM or, yeah. So that was it. Uh, Shane has been, you're done. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. So that was the Florida station. And what are you, 10 watts you said? 10 watts, yeah. Are you on the beam on the roof? I'm on the C4, not the C440, so. Um, it's a three element? I think so, it's a force 12. Okay, so out of curiosity, pull up PSK Reporter. Oh yeah. On your call sign. Let's see how far you, so you've only been transmitting for like a minute, right? Let's see how, how wild you're, My... dude, 20 is apparently pretty good right now. Wow, dude. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Wow. How, how, what did they hear you at? Let me see what their DB, the. It was at. 12. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. What's that program that you just asked them? That, that, that's, that's a website called PSK website. Reporter. PSK. And it reports on all the digital modes. PSK. PSK, PSK Reporter. Reporter. Just, and you just that, just that, just that. Yeah. Well, go Google it. It's PSK. PSK Reporter. Info, and you just search for your call sign, and it all these are all the stations that's hearing him. So right you now. have to put your call sign in there. You got to put in a call sign for whomever you want to see how they're getting out. It's got to be a beam. It's two elements on 20. PSK report. Oh, it's just a two element beam? Yeah. I just made it to Spain. Damn. Yeah. On 10 watts. Yeah. To Spain. Yeah. That's, That's it. Another one. And you were a negative 16 to him. And that, if you hit OK on that, it puts it right into the log. Logs in the, it yeah. logs it in a so, notepad. So then if you want to go to the next step, now bring up JT Alert. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting fun. Yeah. So just, OK. So. Do you have a logging program that you use? Uh, I, I, N3FJP is great. I love that one. So it will, you it. can set up JT Alert to auto log to N3FJP. Ooh. So it's, it's, there's a website you can look up to do it. Oh, to, let's see. To N set it, it's actually on the N3FJP site on how to set it up to interoperate with uh, WSGTX. So now you got JT Alert going What's and this? that's filling out the, remember, it, if you're worried about that, you can just go back in and change the meter to AL, uh, the ALC, and then don't do anything. Oh, there oh. it goes. Oh, I got two, two of people. Them. So see how your ALC is still right in the middle there? Yeah. So you're fine. You're not splattering or anything like that. Plus, you're only using 10 watts, so. And you got two stations you gotta, calling you at the same time. So you're getting them at 1, and they're picking you up at negative 18. So that's more than workable. What's the limit? 24? Gilbert, Arizona. 24 is the limit, yeah. So you're at a negative 11 with him, so that's good. So there's some activity on 40. I mean, he's at minus five over here. Yeah, that's nothing, that's good. So I hope you enjoyed whatever that is. Um, Shane said he needed some help, so I ran down to the HRO to help him get his 891 most of the way uh, across the finish line of getting it set up to run FT8. 
I was thinking about calling this FT8 Man. I don't know if I'm going to make multiple episodes on this. Maybe it should be Digital Boy or <laughs> Digital Man. I, you tell me. Uh, post a comment in the description what I should call this. Anyway, just for fun, hope you enjoyed it. I am Josh KI6NAZ. If you have not already, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Consider joining the Ham Radio Crash Course on Facebook and Discord, a very active community of like-minded hams that are favoring inclusivity to bring people in to amateur radio. All right, that's it. <laughs> Take it easy. See ya.